Hello Tauruses and welcome. I hope you're doing well and you're doing fine. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. <laughs> right, Tauruses, um, a quick few messages, okay, before we begin. Um, first off, every tarot reading does not resonate, okay, for everyone and you need to realise that it will eventually resonate but when it's the right time, okay, and that's just how tarot works. Secondly, I'm no longer taking personal readings and that is just something I've decided to do and thirdly, I've turned on comments for the rest of my videos and it's going to go on I think for a good while because there is a lot of scam going out there where people are getting contacted by my viewers and um, just in comment sections I've noticed that there has been some scams where they're giving out a mobile phone number or you know fake accounts or impersonating somebody else okay um, somebody else's account and this has been going on throughout the whole tarot community on YouTube um, and also on social media too so just be aware of that okay Tauruses. Now we're done with the messages, let's get straight on with the reading. Okay, Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from the 11th through to the 15th. What do we have for my Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from the 11th through to the 15th. Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the 11th through to the 15th. You can watch from your ascendant sign as well, that's absolutely fine. No fuss. No, first, what is wrong with me? <laughs> you can watch from your ascendant sign as well. If you're a cross watcher and you have Taurus in your in your um, chart, then you can watch as well. Taurus, please. What you got for Taurus, please? Okay, buy the book. Hmm. Buy the book. You know what? I'm going to read from the book because this tarot deck. Um. It's new to me and I haven't really kind of memorized everything um, from this deck so I'm just going as we get them <laughs> and I don't want to give you wrong information but we have by the book right by the book okay um, I just remember I passed it I'm so silly Okay, so, by the way, this is the Wisdom of Oracle deck, very popular. <laughs> um, okay, so, the universe works within a structure of divine laws and principle that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, <laughs> the law of thought, the law of compensation and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate within a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in the universal law. Human beings in turn have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behaviour, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform, conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, Submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, Tauruses, I feel like this is not really the time to be doing what you want to do. Um, it's more of following the leader, almost kind of energy. Taurus is really don't like that and I know because my daughter's a Taurus um okay and she really is a rebel okay Taurus is something rising Venus from the 11th through to the 15th and she's really trying to resist at the moment so um but every situation is different so let's see Taurus something rising Venus 11th through to the 15th what do you have for Tauruses Whoa, that one just came flying out. Emotions are running high, <laughs> super moon. Wow, wow, okay. Understandable. In understandable. <laughs> understandable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on. Taurus is something rising Venus, please. On the 11th through to the 15th of March. 
Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Center Signs, please, as well. From the 11th through to the 15th of March, 2021. Taurus is. Okay, I think we are ready. Taurus says, Taurus says, I'm going to do a Celtic cross, whatever comes is for you. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, could be dealing with the water sign. you got the King of Wands crossing this energy. For the recent past, you've got the Two of Wands, you've got the Strength. Um, you've got the King of Pentacles, that's your energy there. And you've got the Seven of Swords for what's carrying you through. The Empress, hello Taurus. <laughs> The Empress for your own personal energy, Seven of Cups for the person you're dealing with or the external environment, Two of Swords for your hopes and your fears and justice for your overall outcome and then for your overall energy, the Wheel of Fortune, that's nice, okay, that's nice actually, that is really, really nice, okay, Tauruses, so you could be dealing with a water sign, okay, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but what's crossing the energy is on the fire sign, which is, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and we do have Leo here. Now, the funny thing is, is that I feel like right now you're using, you're basically, you're trying to be more emotional, compassionate, and sympathizing in the situation, okay? Um, because right now you can't make any kind of decision that you can take in charge of, okay? <laughs> right, so... Right, that makes a lot of sense, considering what we've just seen, right? Um, and with the two of wands in the recent past, um, quite a bit of a stuck energy here, um, definitely. Hmm. I'm going to clarify, so let's see what happens, because um, you kind of got me a little bit stuck as well now with this reading, Taurus, and... I normally channel as I go along, but right now I feel like, what? There is a lot of like kind of this um, whole, there's a lot of this kind of like whole strength, um, taming the bees, taming your emotions uh, before they really kind of like go boom, <laughs> okay? It's like, um, that song, what's it called, Roar? Is it by Katy Perry, is it? raw i think it is by katie perry i just i don't know why i got that but it's almost like you want to really kind of scream and lash out but you're like okay taurus calm down it's gonna be okay um king of pentacles you're showing up as a king of pentacles which is also good because it's showing you know what there's, there's like two kings and one queen and then the queen of all queens coming up here right King of Pentacles is pretty much showing that you are trying to take charge, you're trying to be very grounded, you're trying to be very kind of systematic and in routine with everything that you're trying to do. So I feel like this week or this month is going to be really about routine, okay, and boundaries. I feel that as you continue, you're going to just start to feel the frustration kick in, <laughs> pretty much. Hmm. You're going to try resisting, resisting law and order in the house wherever that is um hmm. with the empress being here in your person yeah look, i feel like there's a lot of growth that you've done because of this whole controlling your emotions and following routine and structure i feel with this empress card there's a lot of growth that you've done right which has helped you actually so if you look at it for the long term this is good for you I feel like there's a lot of options around you, a lot of choices and decisions that you could make um, about certain things that you may be trying to kind of take a direction in, basically, right? With the Two of Swords, I feel like your fear is, I don't know what choice or what decision to make. You have it, then you've got enough like, I don't know, I don't know, right? With the Justice card, though, Libra Energy... <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there is going to be some sort of kind of like um, clarity coming in, things coming back into balance, especially with that Wheel of Fortune, right? Because that is like luck. That is like a cycle that's coming towards you. That's going to bring you a lot of kind of like luck, um, abundance. Okay, Taurus, it's, it's going to be good. All right, so let's take a look at this in a little bit more details. Um, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Clarify this reading, please, Spirit. Angels, 
see what's going on for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I feel like a lot of you Tauruses are just taking this very light at heart right now. It's like, eh, it will pass, it won't last that long, right? Okay, so let's see what this Queen of Cups is first for your current energy. Mm, there it is, see? Feeling trapped, but also feeling happy at the same time. <laughs> like, I want to break free. I want to be happy. But I feel like I'm drowning right now. I feel like I'm stuck, right? And there's no one to help me out of this situation. There's no choice but to follow the rules and stick to the boundaries, right? And this could also be just... Um, you facing this karmic cycle at the moment right with all of this oops i'm so sorry guys okay so let's clarify why the king of wands is in the blocked position for you guys we have the judgment the king of cups um the eight of pentacles okay so you're working right now on staying very balanced and trying to just kind of smooth sail through this right now and containing your emotions basically right um i feel like a lot of you guys if you're in like school college university this is kind of like saying i'm putting my head down i'm working even though i'd rather be going off and do my own thing um so you're kind of like trying to stay in balance let's see what this two of wands is this could just be you as well controlling yourself towards a person who is Putting their foot down, basically. Okay, let's see what this king got. Page of Cups, High Priestess, and Magician. Virgo, Virgo, Pisces. Hmm. You are working towards something, right? That you're keeping to yourself in the recent past. Right? I feel like you um, were intuitively getting messages. You became more aware of your intuition and I feel like you're following through something here. You were trying to manifest something here. Like there was planning going on for the future. There is something here, okay, that you are manifesting. And you're keeping it to yourself. Like something hidden, right? Something very much secretive. <laughs> The person could have been doing this and then you dropped hints perhaps to you, but I don't think you got a lot out of that. Tell me about the strength. Chariot, six of wands, king of wands. King of wands, okay. Mm -hmm. King of wands came out twice. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You've also got Cancer and energy there. Um, I feel like if you try, well, I feel like, okay, I see what's going on. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to contain yourself and you're trying to channel your energy so that you can follow the norm, follow the rules, so that you can reach towards success. So it's, it's, um, it's like saying, hold back your emotions because success is not far and then you will be in charge and take leadership of your own success and where you need to be, right? A lot of planning going on here. A lot of planning for success. I feel like this is, um, it's, it could almost be like graduation for some people, right? Graduation, um, a celebration of some sort of your victory and your hard work that's paying off, okay? But it requires discipline is what I'm getting. Hanged man, knight of cups, four of swords. If this is a relationship we're dealing with, I do feel that somebody has been very kind of like strict or you've been having to be very kind of in control of your emotions around this person because they like things to be in a certain way, following the rules, as we like to say. Um, but I feel that it's helped you become a more stable and very more kind of grounded person, right? um i also feel that this is kind of like okay now that it's done you just need to plan for the future 
you need to go through this it's kind of really helped to go through a lot of transformation this is like okay yeah i've come out um as a king of pentacles throughout this whole thing it's been really a transformation and now it's kind of like you're healing uh not even healing it's it's more of you're resting you know and you're thinking about about love now okay because now you might have time for love i feel like <laughs> why am i getting this for everyone almost like a message coming in for you guys there's like someone who wants to give you a love message of some sort but you're right now just taking your break <laughs> yes taurus you're taking your break okay this is your big break tell me about the um seven of wands mm. somebody's been lying to you taurus somebody's been lying to you um perhaps they've been sneaking off and dating other people and i feel like whoever this knight of cups is who's been coming in and telling you stuff um you probably ignored them for a very good reason because you probably knew that they were um sneaking around and meeting other people hmm. so you kind of were putting up your boundaries with this person right there's a certain line you don't cross with the taurus and i think that that's what that was which is why you were trying your best not to lose your cool with this person mm-hmm Tell me about the Empress. Let's see what the Empress is. Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the Nine of Wands. Oh, nice. I think that you've gone through this growth. You've done this whole... Um, you can hurt me and trip me up, but you can't trip me up twice kind of thing, right? So it's almost like saying, I'm... Yes, it's going to be a painful ending, but for you, not for me. Because... I'm starting a whole new me, right? I'm starting a whole new me. I've done all this growing that I needed to do and I'm doing this whole new me and you are not crossing my boundaries ever again, right? Nice. In fact, I feel like this is kind of like saying, you ain't even going to cross my path, mate. Like, <laughs> wow. Tell me about this... Um, seven of cups they have a lot of options by the way taurus they are going through their shake up with that tower there they are realizing what they've lost because of all these options that they had they realized you could have made a very good wife husband marriage material i didn't even like saying that word but here in the uk that's like another way of saying they see you as someone who they could get married to right damn they long for you um now that they've lost you and they realize that well oh well <laughs> okay let's see what this two of swords is ace of swords empress three of cups damn <laughs> yes taurus you're just doing you even though you're a little bit confused but i feel like that's just your fear of um what if i slip up again right but you've got this Ace of Swords here, so you're getting a mental breakthrough. You're also doing this whole new glow up, and you're getting out there, and you're socializing, and you're just being you. I love that. You're being the rebel. <laughs> you're being the rebel, right? <laughs> Tell me about the justice. Is everybody dealing with the justice card? And I'm seeing the Hierophant and the justice coming out a lot for these readings uh i'm quite surprised to be fair okay so you've got the six of cups you've got the justice and you've got the ten of pentacles i feel like there is a soulmate that's going to be coming in um and you're going to know that this person is like the one the right one for you who will give you this ten of pentacles and not this person here six of cups i would say as a past person but honestly i don't feel that because i feel like you're done with this person you're the empress you know your worth um you ain't gonna go back to this person tell me about the wheel of fortune <laughs> oh this person's gonna get their karma um they will don't worry <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say taurus 
Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, things might seem like a little bit of a headache right now, and you know you're trying to weave certain parts of your life um, together to make things work. And even though it seems like a headache right now and a little bit of a conflicting issue, but I feel like as the cycles move forward, you are going to get this Ten of Cups with that Ten of Pentacles. It is coming to an end. And that is a beautiful story right there, Taurus, that's just unfolded. So um, thanks for watching, Tauruses. Love and light to you guys. Wish you all the luck and I'll see you real soon.